Namaskar, everyone, and welcome to Sunday. My heart hangs heavy today. Shall I tell you why? I'm a lover of the news. I love to look at world news, and it's dominated by war. I mean, we can have a million reasons for justifying war, but it always creates a dark cloud over humanity. Is it the way of a civilized world? Is violence the way of a civilized world? Or does it breed more hate in human hearts? Would it ever end? Where is the, the love for humanity? And you know who are the real victims of, of a war? The innocent. The innocent. Those who doesn't have the warring consciousness and only look, only looks for peace, or look for peace. The civilian life is the, is the worst. You know, if you have gone through injury and you've seen the body and you have had to nurse the body back to health, you know how difficult that process is. I've, I've gone through that process. with my lung issue in India. And then the rehabilitation of the body takes time. And I've watched the whole process very carefully. And my deepest prayer is that I never have to go through that again. The lessons I've learned from it are great. And I, when I think of the amount of unnecessary human injury in war, it, it's appalling. Not only that, the destruction of what we build. When you look at beautiful cities being destroyed, oh my God, just by a bomb and the hate in the human heart. The idea of revenge. You know, the Bible says, the God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. The karma picks up with, with people, but should we destroy life? Should we destroy life on the planet? We're already doing it with the environmental destruction. Is there a way? Is there a way? And is there something we can do? Or should we just be innocent bystanders in this, looking at what happened? I, I hate, I absolutely hate looking at the news these days. Every time I just switch the news on, the news channel, oh my God. It's so sad. Hate in human hearts. Revenge. Is there something we can do as uh, bystanders? Is there something we can do? And yes, we can. Yes, we can. If we pray, I'm not sure whether you know the power of prayer. If in your own family home, you know, there is a, a member who is creating some kind of issue. And there is no way that you can convince that member that they should think, think otherwise. How do you deal with that? When you cannot deal with something on the outside, you deal with it from the inside. Do you know why? Because we are all connected. If there is suffering on the planet, it affects those of us who are more aware. We feel the intensity of suffering on the planet, those of us who are more aware. If your senses are dull and your consciousness is low, it doesn't affect you. But the more refined your consciousness is, the more God-conscious you are, the more life-conscious you are, wherever there is war, it's going to affect us. But that should be a call in our hearts to pray and to don't stop praying, to hold these people in our hearts and pray for nonviolent solutions. Pray for diplomatic solutions. It will happen. It definitely will happen. The more of us who can gather in prayer, the more of us who can wish all human beings well. No judgment of who is, as to who is right and who is wrong. No. The protection of human life on the planet. The protection of life itself. And if we don't destroy all these beautiful buildings we have created, we don't destroy it. It takes time to rebuild. And it's painful, the whole rehabilitation process. 
So as I look at news, my heart becomes so full of compassion. And only prayer can be in my soul towards humanity. Only prayer, only prayer, only prayer. And only the wish that every day that I will hear some better news. That there will be some kind of diplomatic solution. That there will be some kind of global kind of movement to help. You know, people are suffering. Over two million people are in the Gaza Strip. You know, it's like a prison. What do they do? I mean, we, we can find a million reasons to justify war, but it, is it ever justifiable? And if ever at all it has to happen, can it happen in the cleanest possible way? In the most clinical way? When you have righteousness in your heart, you can clean up something with, with a lot of compassion in your heart. A lot of love in your heart. You know, you can discipline a child or discipline someone with a lot of love in your heart for the person. That is what is needed on the planet. That's what Christ said when you look at how his life was slaughtered, how painful his life was. You see how, how humanity can become so evil. And that's not what we want on the planet now. We, we need light. We need love. We need compassion. And uh, today my heart hangs heavy and it's full of prayer to these people who are suffering. And I'm, I'm calling upon all of you to have a prayerful heart and to include the suffering humanity in our meditations. And not only, <laughs> not only the suffering humanity, but the planet and the whole, the planet and the whole, all the environmental challenges we have across the world, it's human made. And it's we humans who can change that. So let's keep love in our hearts. Let's keep a prayer in our hearts. Let's keep on holding our brothers and sisters across the planet. And let's uh, pray for more love and more peace and less violence on the planet. We need it. That's my little message for you this morning. I, I can't think of any, anything else to say to you except let's pray for peace in the world. We need it. Thank you, everyone. Have a blessed Sunday. Namaskar. No,